Nothing like a sex scandal to distract America from, well, everything. We're headed into a fiscal cliff. There is an investigation to come on the terrorist attack in Benghazi. There's a war in Afghanistan, but all of that is pushed aside because of a doozy of a sex scandal involving the head of the CIA, a general, a biographer, a State Department liaison, and a shirtless FBI agent who, through email, pulled a wiener, as in Anthony Weiner. Call it a military menage a sank. I would call it an intelligence menage a sank, but trust me, there's not a lot of intelligence being used in this affair. I'll let you look up all the sordid details yourself. But aside from the sensational sex scandal, I do have a few important questions about the affair that led to the resignation of CIA Director David Petraeus. The FBI says that it was in August that they realized there was no breach of national security and no criminal activity. So why did they keep investigating? It was also in August that the FBI says it informed Attorney General Eric Holder about the investigation. Why didn't he tell the president? We're also told that it was election day last Tuesday that the director of national intelligence, James Clapper, urged David Petraeus to resign. And then we're told it wasn't until Wednesday, conveniently after the election, that the president was finally informed. I have many more questions and they'll eventually be answered because Congress wants answers too and they've started an investigation. But believe me, there is a much bigger story here than a tabloid sex story.